Okay, okay, this is John from Proxy Pairs Mares is Adding, and this, this, this is the next part of this video, and that's our main spring winder, which you've actually seen that spring winder before. It was bought off eBay, uh, I think at the time it was about £140. Uh, it's got all the sleeves, these are the sleeves, obviously with it. There's probably half a dozen, maybe more of them to do various size springs, but that's the particular one that is common on fusy clocks. Um, and I'm going to go through it now of what we do. Now, the first thing we do with the main spring winder is we clamp it to the bench. So we, we have, uh, hopefully you can see me still, we have clamps are just out of shot and we clamp it to our bench it just gives it that bit of security do that both sides and we clamp it to the bench now there's actually screw holes in the in the thing itself if you want to leave it permanently but we don't want to leave it permanently because you know we've we've got a very a small footprint in the workshop so we have to be able to Things have to be as portable as possible because you know we the, the, the amount of things we we do, uh, it has to be pretty portable. But I wear gloves when I'm pretty much dealing. The, I've, I've, these are a little bit heavier because it's a fusy, just in case it goes, uh, you know, or something happens. Because we've had in in the past this, you know, the sensor at Arbel, we've had that um, break and things like that as we've been winding the spring in. So. You know, we, we, we just try to be as cautious as possible. I wear glasses that have the plastic type, so hopefully that will protect my eyes. But I would say, um, you know, really wear some kind of eye protection uh, because, you know, especially as you know, as you, you're just start, starting to do this, this type of thing, because, you know, they're pretty lethal them springs. I mean, at the end of the day, what I do when I take the the brush, the wire off them, how I open them up, I put them, we have an old apron here. It's like a canvas, a very heavy canvas. It's actually Steve's idea, very heavy canvas apron. And we put, put the spring in the pocket of that and then up with a pair of gloves on and then clip the wire off. And it, it can't open out much further than the pocket then. And then it's opened enough just to take its power out. So that's how we do that. But anyway, the first thing you're going to do is you want to check which way it goes round. So in the case of this, it's this way round. And you've got your, um, you, you know, your, your, your sort of, you know, your hook on your, on your, on your arbor. And that goes in and that hooks the inside of the spring. So fit that in. Um, to find it I think just give it a second I'll get on it's possibly gonna do it see that okay so that's the first part of it okay so you fit your arbor to your spring you're gonna to have to take it out again but there you go now the next thing you want to do now the springs in this particular case are both the same they're not always but they are in this particular case now what we do now is we put the barrel in the main spring winder backwards so it's going to basically hold the back of the arbor and we're going to actually now get the spring inside um this sleeve okay i can't actually see me me uh, me, me camera screen so i'm you know forgive me if i'm a bit uh you know, i'm not sort of steven spielberg with the camera but you know i'm doing my very best the other thing you want to you want to find is you know your your socket on the end of your the socket on the end of your of your of your mainspring winder. Make sure that goes over the arbor, 
and it fits over it you know quite well you don't want it slipping that's pretty much it that one um that does it but no I'm, I'm gonna go for the tighter one uh because you know as as, as we start putting a bit of tension on this spring uh, you know, it'll if, if there's any that as it builds power up, it'll you'll, you'll see what will happen. So what we're going to do then is you've got your spring and it's this way. I'm on the main spring wind. You've got a hook, so that's going to hook into there. So we're going to put the main spring barrel in there. We're going to make sure our sleeve is on, okay, and then we're going to start winding obviously you've got a little ratchet on this so we're going to start winding it in it's actually all the way around i think we're actually winding it in a bit i'm going to hook it onto our thing there a little bit precarious all this but i try to it's why one of the reasons i'm wearing gloves so we're winding it in. I'm starting to feel it now, I'm feeling the tension. Keep it going down. Just keep it flat. 